good. Start by opening your hood. Maybe you can pull that up just a little bit. And then we're going to switch over to our trim tool and get underneath the edge of that and gently pull up and then get underneath the bottom half of it and pop that button out. On the far outside section here, we're going to do the same thing. There's a button right here. Pop up on the center and then use your trim tool and you can go ahead and get the rest of it out. Those buttons removed, go ahead and grab this cover here. Going to pull us up and out. Now as we're lifting this up, you're gonna have your windshield washer hose here. Gently tug that up. Come across to this side here. Go ahead and pop this out. Like so. Then pull us out and just set that over here. Grab your plastic trim shield here. Lift up, pull towards you out and away. Now that we have our cover off, we have our uh, cabin air filter exposed here. If you happen to find any sort of debris like this along the sides of it, this is probably remnants of a mouse. This is a good point to go ahead and uh, a good uh, starting point to go ahead and put a mask on. Go ahead and grab a vacuum, make sure there's no other little critters living in there. Go ahead and clean that out and then we'll go ahead and remove that filter. Now they're all vacuumed out and we have a good clear shot of this here. Go ahead and lift up your filter. Pull that up and pull it out towards the engine. You can see this one clearly needs replacement. Before installing your filter, make sure that the inside tray here is clean of any debris or anything that might have fallen down inside there. Ours is good. Go ahead and slide this down into the tray. It'll require you to slightly manipulate that into place. Once that's in place, go ahead and install your plastic cover here. We wanna get our little tabs here fit up into the body. Over here. And before getting this popped and in, popped into place here, let's go ahead and install our windshield washer hose here. Press that back into the retainer clip. Take your hose around the side here. Sure you have your washer nozzle hose lined back up and through this little notch on the side. Make sure that fits into place. Let's go ahead and install our push buttons. Go ahead and get that base installed. Push that down and into place. You can take your button, line that up, and get that in. Now it's hard for me to get my fingers in and hold that in there and press it in, so I'm just gonna use a pair of needle nose pliers, line that up. This should help you get that into place, and then we can just push that in.
Go ahead and repeat for the second button here. You can push that in. The center of our button stayed in place on that one there, so it's simple. Just press down the center and lock it in. Now we can go ahead and reinstall our seal here. And you're all set.